TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it, YouTube. This is just a little warning screen. Um, just in case anything that will, should be blurred will be blurred. There will be nothing on here that violates any type of anything. Um, don't forget, we do got Twitch.com if you want to catch a live, man. Username is at the bottom of that first one. We got merch, and we also, you know what I'm saying, got Patreon.com. We post Monday through Friday. I don't know if I said that already, but I'll say it again. You get me. This is... Who is Mal Malishi, Malishi, M-A-L-A-C-H-I from South? The most awkward interview ever is off the record from Trend Central. I got to, man. So many people tagged me and they sent me this interview. Like, it's rare that I get a bunch of people sending me the same interview. So, I guess. From the name, from, uh, from the looks of this name, Malishi, Malishi. Sound like it's about to get real ignorant. Psst. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Alright. Trend Central subscribe, true. Oh, oh, hold on, okay? It's on mute. Hold on. Malachi from South London, I did not jeet you. You just nyam my batty and went home. Don't try to tell your guys I jeeted you, you know? Your own guys don't rate you, sis. You're work class. Go get a job. Go get a job. Who ate her body? Who? So, somebody did what to her? Who? Oh, sis. Your own guys don't rate you. They're here telling me, oh, he's saying he jeeted you. Are you fucking mad? Are you fucking mad? I made you nyam my batty and go home. You didn't even get to nyam the cooch. I made you nyam my asshole. It don't even feel good. Shitty mouth. See, you just, you just chat shit. That's why. What kind of... Hold on now, ma'am. What kind of mouth did he have? That speaks a lot on your, um... <laughs> your ingenuity down there. Your, your creativity. Your, your summer's eve. You know what I'm saying? What you got going on down there? Cleanliness is next to godliness. Welcome to Off The Record, a platform where individuals come to speak their truth, discuss their thoughts and own their stories. We're going to be having candid conversations, dissecting various events, asking the questions we're all eager to know, and hopefully coming to graceful conclusions. I am your host. Who is she talking about, though? I'm still. Mide Oni, the one and only. Mide Let's Oni. Get into it. Talk to me. Today we are joined by Tomello, a young lady who went viral online for causing quite a stir by exposing a young man who performed analingus on her. It has been. Excuse me. What is that? I haven't hit that level of maturity where I call it that. <laughs> it's called analingus. That's what it's called. I just call it eating, you know what I'm saying? Been quite the story. So, Mele, would you like to join us? Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. What do I call you? Miss Troublemaker? Thanos. Miss Thanos. Thanos of the UK. Thanos of the UK. She looked like him. Okay, yes. is that what you've dubbed yourself? That is my official title. That's your official title. <laughs> the oh public have decided. You said I don't, I want problems always. Yeah? Only. You know what? Let me stop. No, you don't look like Thanos. I'm sorry. You stepped through with the power of Thanos, though. So I'm, I'm curious what's going on. Why would you? Who did you expose? Yeah, well, thank you for joining us. Thank you. I for mean, how me. was your journey in? It was a bit long, but I'm here. Where are you coming from? Bristol. Bristol. Wow. Well, tell us a bit more about yourself, apart from being, you know, Thanos of the UK. <laughs> tell us a little bit more about you. Well, I'm 18. You are 18 years old. Mm. Yeah. Wow, you're... Okay, I see what's going on here. Baby, compared to me anyway. But yeah, tell <laughs> us more, tell us more. I'm 18, I'm from Bristol. Um, what do you do for a living? 
What do I do? <laughs> Oh my God, we're down. We start. We're starting off on the wrong foot here. If y'all okay, <laughs> do I even have? I, I don't know. You don't know. Are you working at the moment? Are you in um, college or uni or anything like that? Um, I don't know. You. So she really ain't got nothing going for herself. And got them. All right. You don't know. No. You don't know if what you do for a living. <laughs> I'm going to give you a minute to think about it. What I do for a living. Well. I, maybe we'll get into that. Maybe we'll yeah, get into that. Later. Okay. Cool. I feel like it's a straightforward question. Like, what are you? There's something about you you don't know. What you got going on? <laughs> so who do, who do you live with at the moment? Are you do you live alone? Alone. You live alone. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, that's good. When you're recording all of your videos, there's nobody with you. You're just like because your your videos are quite loud. Like you're shouting. A lot of people have said that. Yeah, no, in your videos you are quite, you know, expressive is the word that I would use. Fuck all of you! Fuck all of you, man! No, I'm gonna walk around. Would love to get you. On. But anyway, let's move. You know what? Let me fix my attitude because she's 18. We got to keep that in mind. On from that. So you're here because you exposed a young man called Malachi online. Can you it was Malachi? start by telling us who Malachi is? Like who exactly he is? Like who is he to you? No, who is I wouldn't he? say he was my boyfriend. Okay. That's a lie. Yeah. He's an arrangement. Elaborate. What does arrangement mean? A situationship. Um, so how did you and Malachi meet? He is sneaky link. He he wanna he's on your roster. We actually met on a street corner. Like Ma'am, you were very vague about what you do for a living, and now you're telling us he's an arrangement, and now you're telling us you met him on a street corner? Like, we just bumped into each other. Okay. In Lewisham. In Lewisham. So do you come to the, um, down to London quite often? No. Like, no. So how, why were you in Lewisham? I was having an AP. What's an AP? An apartment. Oh, okay. Why were what? you having an apartment? I just have them sometimes. Okay. So you were just, happened to be in, in, in Lewisham. And yes. you happened to meet this guy called Malachi. Yes. And because you were in an AP. Yes. So, so we were what walking was the interaction? To the corner shop. Okay. And then what happened? So I was like, yo. Tell me a bit more, like go a bit more into the store. That's all she got, ma'am. She got cat called by the mandem and she was like, yes. <laughs> what you mean? That's all she got. Sorry. He was like, yo. Yeah. I was like, hi. And then. I was like, you're laying, you know? Mm hmm. So I was like, what's your snap? Put it in his phone. And that's how you guys met. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, what was the progression from you guys meeting on that street in Lewisham to then him performing these acts on you? How did you get from A to B? One day we came on the phone mm -hmm. and he was like, like, I just have weird fetishes that I can't tell anyone about. Mm -hmm. And I was like, tell me. Freaky man them. That, as well as like belly button stuff. Belly button stuff, what do you mean? Like, sometimes he likes licking belly buttons and stuff. Okay. Apart from that. Innies or outies? Eating ass. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so, obviously you went online and you exposed him and you said he, he's lying about he, him having sex with you. He only performs analingus on you. Can you please explain why you came online? Yeah, why? How did what it get here? the um, timeline that happened for you to expose him? I wanted his friend. You wanted his friend? Right. So I wanted his friend. So obviously his friends decided to do a CRB on me. Mm -hmm. This was, this started back in January. The saga started in January. First, he tried to say we dated. That got shut down. Then he said he was joking. I was like, cool. Second time, his second strike was in- I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm gonna I'm keep it 100 with you. Malachi, you bogus. You bogus, dude. You knew what you got. You knew what you got yourself into. You knew where you should have kept it at. 
If you was out here getting kinky, you should have just did what you did and just left it at that. If she wanted your boy, you should have op- let it go with open arms. You should have just let that go, man. That is not yours. Come on now. In February, that was his second strike. He was like, oh, like, I cheated her, blah, 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 blah. Can you just, for people that, you know, I'm a lot older than you, yeah, I don't speak, actually know what speak regular, yeah. means. What are you talking Can about? you please explain what that is? To have sex. Okay, so yeah. he, he lied and said that you had sex. sex. Yeah. But you didn't have sex with him. There was no sex. Okay. And then after that, he, he said it twice. Yes. So he said it that time in February. And then this time when I heard it, like, his friend came on the phone and he was like, I'm bothered, like, my guy keeps saying he cheated you. So I don't know if I can take you serious. And that really provoked me. And that's why you came online to talk yeah. about it. What, what is going on in the UK? So Malachi hollered at you on the street corner, got you to do some, some analingus. And then you wanted his boy and your, his boy was gone. His boy was gone. And, and that's okay if he just wanted to jeet you. You know what I'm saying? But he wants he wanted to potentially take you serious after his man's then then played the cello on her? Come on, man. After your man then played the bagpipe on her? Jasper, don't start right now, Jasper. <laughs> I'm I'm getting deep into this because I'm real bothered by the, the the guy code that's being abruptly not followed right here. The guy code is being crazily disregarded right now. Your man's had her in any type of way. It's dead anyway. So why are you on the phone? <laughs> why does it even matter? Oh, I can't take you serious. Like, what are you talking about? No, you can't. No matter what. Mm. It don't matter. I, I, I didn't expect it to go so far. I expected him and his friends to see it. Ah, fair enough. You claim that he begged to perform this act on you. How did, how did that come about? We were in a hotel room. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, oh, can I try something on you? And I was like, what? He told me. I was like, how much do you have? Oh my God, what are we doing? Sorry, pause. Yeah, pause, ma'am. He told you what he wanted to do and you asked how much does he have? Correct. Okay, I'm going to put a pin in that and come back to that later. No, why would you do that? Because now we really found out that she really out here soliciting. Okay, so you said how much do you have and then what happened next? He was like, oh, like right now I only got four bills. I was like, we can make that work Mm -hmm. because you're not about to harass my asshole for free. Bro, the youth is, the youth is crazy. (laughs) Hey, harass my what? I ain't never even heard it put like that. No ditty. That's tough. Okay. I... Okay. I'm catching up um, on UK so lingo after right he's now. Giving you the money, or you guys have done whatever. Did he pay before or after? He like, had to pay before. It? Oh. Can't that's... pay. No, that's not an option. He has to pay. Rule number one yeah. for them. Okay. For the service. She knows what's going on. For the pay? service? No, you... See, you using too many professional terms. You really do this. Okay. He's from Lewisham. They what don't really have bank accounts. He mm. paid in cash, yes. He paid in cash. <laughs> What was part of this transaction? What does he get for 400 pounds? He gets to eat my bum yeah. and wank himself off. That's it. That's it. So he paid 400 pounds to perform this act on you and to do whatever he wanted to do to himself. Why didn't you go the full, to the full extent with him? I had a bit of like a bay at the time, so it wasn't appropriate. You had a bay at the time? A little. Nothing was appropriate then. If you had a day that you wanted to take seriously. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit of a bit. Girl, what does that mean? Like I was speaking to someone else. Yeah. So it wasn't appropriate for me and him to have sex. But it was appropriate for him to eat your bum. That's business. You keep talking about business and...
no one's gonna eat your bum without paying. Like, girl, <laughs> what is what's your profession? Because to me, it's giving prostitution. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I'm getting to. That is definitely what it's giving. And it gotta be that. Hmm. Escort, she gonna say something professional. We gotta call a spade a spade because transactions of monetary gain for sexual acts by definition is prostitution and that's what you're doing here. I don't think I do it on a wide scale. It's so selective. You, so you do prostitution on a selective scale. That is insane. Are we, are we all listening to the same interview? But I can't even lock. I can't even cap, man. I feel like most young girls nowadays do that. If they if they run across a goofy who thirsty, they gonna hit them with a price tag and see and just shoot they shot at seeing if it, if it go in. And you know, especially you know what I'm saying that that's that's the, like I don't I ain't know that was worldwide. That's a Chicago thing for sure. I didn't see that. I didn't seen that happen to a lot of my homies, and I just be like, "You did what? That's tough." <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so, just to clarify, Sorry, Dad. so just to clarify, you're a part-time prostitute. Yes, that sounds that sound wow. crazy. Okay, how did we get there? What what has led an 18 year old woman to be a part-time prostitute? I don't know. I don't really see it as prostitution. I see it as if you want something from me, and just that, you should pay. What? Hey Siri. Uh huh. What is prostitution? Siri don't even got the answer. It say I don't have the answer for that. It's Easter, man. This is crazy. Was that your first time getting money for sexual acts, or was this something that? No, it wasn't our first. You've time. been doing for a, a, a while. I wouldn't say no. I used to let boys suck my toes for money. Okay. Why do you feel like you've gotten into this business of... The UK is wild. Um, having transactions for sexual favours. How did this come about? Why has this Good come Good question. About? Good question. I just realised men are a bit weird. Mm -hmm. And some of them should be taken advantage of. Okay. Ain't that what I just said? Younger females, they cock a goofy and see what they can get up out of them. It's nothing new. You know what I'm saying? But here's my thing, man. I'm telling you, females like this, they reach an expiration date. And once they get to that expiration date where no, nobody really rocking with them no more. Like, I sound bogus. I sound crazy. Like, I'm, I sound wild right now. But females like this reach an expiration date. And once they hit that expiration date, they looking around like, oh, oh my God, I ain't got no more motion. I ain't cute no more. I'm too old to be in the club. Oh my God, what do I do? And that's what I mean when you ain't, when you, when you still probably cute, but you are too old to be in the club. You don't got no more motion. Nobody checking for you no more. Uh, you too tired. <laughs> you getting tired out to be out at 4 a.m. Um, and anybody out here apparently looking for the youngins. And uh, when I say youngins, I mean in Chicago, I mean 21 and up. T between 21 and 25. It, it gets spooky. Everybody, every every female in the club industry that, that regularly clubs hits that wall. I call it an expiration date. You can call it something else. But they all hit that wall and they be like, dang. I'm the old girl in the club, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's why you ain't seen me. I, like, I could go to the club till I'm 50. It don't matter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When motion is motion. And it, it, it hit different. Like, now I'm trying to word this correctly. It hit different when you're a male and you got money. Like, it hit different. If you got money and you're a male, you will for always, always have the option to go to the club and do what you feel like. And y'all know this. I'm not saying nothing wrong. I'm not saying no lies. I'm not doing nothing goofy. I ain't saying no Even if she heard this, she'll know that too. But it is what it is, man. This is crazy. I ain't going to the club just because I feel like I don't. That's a waste of time. I got to be celebrating something.
But anyway. Okay. So if they want to use me, mm -hmm. I'll use you first. You're very interested, young woman. <laughs> that's for sure. So you put on your um, story, your price list of <laughs> different. <laughs> Is she really? Girl, you put your price list of different, um, I don't even know what to say, different acts that you can be you performed saw that. on you. I did. Girl, I told you I watched all your things. You put Ooh. on your story different things of what people can do to you. So £500 for eating your bum, £400 for eating your front vagina. Like, is that your standard going rate? Or is he <laughs> it really low? I think if I it is. Hey, the way she worded it is crazy. 50 was to eat my bum. Mm. 650 to eat my vagina. Okay. Um, there's a 50 pound late fee and 200 pounds extra for video evidence. So do you have a booking system for this? No, I was actually looking for a manager to help me manage my bookings at the moment. You was looking for a pimp. Let's be real. You was looking for a pimp. Don't, don't. You weren't looking for a manager. You was looking for Bishop Magic Don Juan out here. That's tough to manage your part-time prostitution? I might make it full-time. You might make it full-time. Is it lucrative? Is it paying well? I think it's paying well. well okay, so what's your clientele? My clientele? Aside from Malachi. This is what's really weird. Most people would think like the young successful men wouldn't pay for this, like, because mm -hmm. they can get women easily. Mm -hmm. That's my main clientele. Really, when you say young I believe it. Even with any, men with money period though. Now I will say, like people, people play for discreetness. Like, I used to have this conversation with people. Like people will pay for being discreet when they got a, a X amount of dollars in the bank, and they got a lot of motion, and they don't want nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go on no date. I don't want to wine and dine. Pay, be discreet, and that's tough, man. I would not say be doing that, um, because that's illegal. You're going to jail successful what demographic are we talking rappers 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 as in up and coming or established 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 rappers are messaging you to eat your ass i just want to make sure we're clear on that yes yes but they also hit me with ndas yeah yeah see and that's a that's a big thing here in america oh yeah sign this little nda real quick Discreetness is, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling, I, I don't be saying nothing that ain't new. I mean, that's very convenient <laughs> for you to say. <laughs> I mean, come on, very convenient. Okay, cool. So you've been hit up by established rappers who want to eat your ass. Only three. Only, only, only three. Name them. Yes. One, two, three rappers have hit your up. Hit Name them. To eat your bum. Yes. Did you? charge these rappers or do they get a premium service or like of course they get charged if anything they get charged more they get charged more yes. so what's the criteria what's the not criteria what's the bracket that they get in charged maybe 1500 to 2000 because they can afford it okay so when you're charging them up to 2000 pounds do they get the full rides do they get to enjoy you sexually or is it just to eat your ass they don't get to enjoy me sexually. Oh, so you don't have sex with any of these clients? It's just no. ass eating? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. So is this like an OnlyFans type thing? I was thinking of starting that. Okay. But I just don't have the heart. You don't have the heart to start it, but you have the heart <laughs> to tell everyone you're a part-time prostitute. Sis. <laughs> We're going to need well. to make it make sense. I might as well. You might this. as well go full, full force if you're telling the whole world that, you know, because this is going on YouTube, you know. Do you know that? Yes. So you might as well start the OnlyFans if that's the case. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. In the UK, How many we views are... does this have? Hold on, slow down. 300,000. Oh, my days. Oh, Y'all just got her popping. Oh, my God. I know she lit now. She gonna be lit for the next two months until she do something else crazy or, or do another interview. If she do this right, she can be lit for the whole year. And it is quite prudish. This type of information isn't things that people tend to actually speak about. People keep their sexual lives quite private. Why did you... Kai invited her on a stream? Oh my God. She's lit for the next six months for sure. 
If God puts her on a stream, she's lit for the next six months. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. The stream gonna get on her though, but but like, that's tough. That's wants peak. to come online and tell everybody on the World Wide Web that Malachi performed Analingus on you. Um, mainly because I don't care what okay. anyone else thinks. Secondly, I didn't expect it to go so far. Okay. I really expected it to circle within London, mm -hmm. South London only. Mm -hmm. His friends would see it and disgrace him. Okay, so you didn't think that in this no. viral community that you saying, Malika, you at my ass would not go On viral. TikTok. No, because like, I've been a shit talker for years. Like I talk crap all the time. Mm -hmm. Like I speak about many subjects. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go viral, okay. it just stays within my TikTok community. But as you can imagine, this is very controversial. This is like something that is, I think, it's, Analingus is It's negative and it's messy. This is 2024, that, that, that pay the bills now. I think that is quite new in the UK. People might have been doing it for years, but people speaking about it openly is quite new. So obviously you coming online and speaking about that is gonna grab people's attention, especially on TikTok where it's like, things go viral like that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you didn't think about that, that never came into play? No, she well, don't I care. Mean, I was just she says she of, don't care. Let me just be petty. Like, let me just get at him. Mm -hmm. Are you? at all concerned about how you're being portrayed online? No. No, why are you not concerned? Because the internet is just a facade. Like, people come on the internet to escape the reality about themselves. Like, a lot of people who are- So what is the reality about yourself that you're escaping? Where is your dad? <laughs> I'm curious. Behind the screens, laughing. Oh, look at her, she's a prostitute. They're prostitutes themselves. They just don't accept the title. Okay, so you you're basically saying she I've accepted lying. who I she am, lying, and I'm gonna make a living off of this. Yes. Essentially, is what you're saying, yeah? What have your friends said about this? About they know the fact I know a lot of females watching this. Like, I know that's right. <laughs> they know you're mad. They know. I'm so, mad. have they advised you to be like, girl, maybe chill out, or they just how how is that conversation going with your friends and your family? My, my friends, their main advice is this type of attention you've got, make something of it. Don't try and make something of it. 100%, I'm talking crazy, but at the same time, you got to make something out of it. You got to. Every, everybody who wants an interview, take it, charge them, whatever. You, I know you're gonna charge, so charge them whatever you feel is appropriate, do it. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a career, or something. Yeah. What type of career can you do out of this? I could be a rapper. You could be a rapper? Yes. Okay, is that- Nah, 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 nah. You can't be a rapper. Um, no, it's a no. Um, do something else. You could do something else though. You could be like a TV personality for sure. You could do something, you could do so many. Why was rapper the first thing? Do something else. That what the avenue that you're trying to go down? Because I did see that you were putting music on your story and things. You ever heard of Angelingus? Yeah, no. They, they call that's what they call eating ass now. Angelingus. Angelingus is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of Conalingus, but Angelingus is wild. That's professional. <laughs> things like that. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a plan essentially. Yeah. So obviously you said that you're, you don't really care about how people perceive you, the internet is a facade, X, Y, Z. What about in the future? Because I was just about to say that the internet is a facade until you have kids and they look up your interview like, mom, you was charging people for analingus? Oh my days. When you put things on the internet, there is a digital footprint. And what about your children in the future? Your potential husband, maybe Talk your to job, Talk to like clients. Let's say, for example, you do become a successful rapper. Maybe brands might not want to particularly work with you because of certain... That's cap. Let's stop there. Brands will want to work. They don't care. <laughs> and things that you say, does that bother you at all? Do you think about that? No. Look at Cardi B. How oh, did she start? That's she started very true. by talking shit. She said a lot mm -hmm. in her career. She got picked up by Love and Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. Then from there, released Boy That Yellow. Mm -hmm. No one talks about the days where she used to sit on Instagram and talk crap. Love Cardi B, by the way. Mm -hmm. 
but I like Carla I too. totally agree, agree with you. But do you think that she that space point. can be cultivated in the UK? Because remember. Cardi B's in America, their morals, everything that they stand for, even their culture is very different to the UK. Yeah, you're not in it. You're not not some. One thing I noticed about UK women, they more reserved a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But like South London women is this is wow. This is like the, the third, fourth thing got a batters plus this like. Okay, in the UK, like I said. We're, but we're a lot more they're gonna make that space yeah. so although, although everybody is doing these sexual acts not everybody talks about it and everyone has a lot more to say so do you th and that's why batters i feel like if they would have left batters and got the right editors and the right and left it on youtube it could have took off somebody else gonna do it or batter season two gonna do it right and leave it on youtube i get it you want the patreon money but the youtube money is better than the patreon money if you got, if you would have left that there and, and edited it correctly and, and did what you had to do to get it green, Shorty would have been crazy up right now and been all type of brand deals, all type of stuff. I don't know what she got going on right now, but she could have went about it better. I, Patreon, it's, it's cool, but like you should have left it on YouTube. Season two, so you leave it on YouTube or somebody else do something like that and it's going to be over because she just said it. That's not a space that's being exposed. That's not a, that's not a lane in the UK that's being occupied. So once it's occupied, whoever does it, it it's going to be lit. <laughs> you just got to stay on YouTube, get the right editors, edit it until it's YouTubeable. <laughs> think that that, even though that, that kind of timeline that you said with Cardi B is true do you think that it can be reflected in the UK definitely only because I believe it can too people are quite shocked by me mm. I believe because as you said the UK is very it's the shock factor I stand yeah. out it's mm. like it makes people look at me it mm. makes owners of shows and mm. people who have platforms want to speak to me want me on their shows mm. 100%. I think eventually it'll work out okay it should be already I love that you're positive about it. That being said, she can't understand. I think she understands it, but for the sake of the interview, she's going to do what she needs to do. So is this maybe an introduction to you, a persona that you're putting out as an introductory? And then are you planning to keep this throughout your career or? I wouldn't say it's a persona. I would say this, like, I'm exactly how I am on TikTok. Mm. I've only calmed myself down because I can't come here screaming at you, mm. answering the questions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just not. Yeah, but this is just who you are. This it's just who, who I be. am. Like, I, I'm never going to change and I'm never going to get tired because it's just my personality. Obviously, when people were online kind of getting at you, you were talking about the fact that your your dad didn't do a good job raising you. Do you want to elaborate? Ah. What do you mean? Ah. You know what? I'm beginning to like this girl because she's self-aware. She's not self she's not self sabotaging. She's self aware and she's making the best out of what has transpired in her life. Cause she just said, My dad didn't raise me right, so this is how I am. She's not, she's self aware. There's a difference. When you're not aware of who you are and you're self sabotaging as a result. But as a result, she is taking advantage of it. She knows what's going on. She's self aware. Um, my dad was like in and out of my life. Mm -hmm. So there was never really that male proper figure. Mm -hmm. That may have contributed to how I am now. But either way, I don't know. There's whores with dads. That's tough. There is, but... Hmm? That is true. So you feel like your dad not being a part of your life is what's led you to being a part-time prostitute? No, I feel like even if I had a dad, mm -hmm. if I choose to be a whore, that's nothing to do with him. People have two parents in their house and become serial killers. I feel like you can have great parents and become a shit kid. Mm. Yeah, that's a fact. Do you not she, feel any shame when you're talking? About I ain't gonna lie. She be saying, "I hey, listen, I want to get on her, but she's so self-aware. Like it's it's like, I, what can I really say? She is aware of what has happened and transpired in her life, and this is what it is right now for her." about these things online like are do you do you not feel any shame what would i feel shame about it's like everyone sins in the darkness mm -hmm. i sin in daylight 
but my sin is in the darkness, so I wouldn't have the shame. But you know that. Yeah, that's cat. You would, you didn't, you wouldn't feel shame with it. With within yourself, and God knows that. So yeah. do you not feel any shame? I do, but it's not online. What have you done in your life? I wouldn't say that online. That's the whole point. My point is, with you, you're coming online and speaking but about. But what do guys know about you? What do you mean? Like men you may have been with in the past. Mm -hmm. What do they know about you? Whatever they know is between me and them. Well, is it? Because they go and tell their friends, which is exactly why I went out at Malachi. Yeah, but what? God damn. Oh my gosh, she might be eating right now. Ever I've discussed with whoever I've been with and they've told their friends, it's not being discussed by over 10 million people online. Yeah, but that could easily happen. Say, say that person went and told one of their friends and their friends did a story time on TikTok mm -hmm. and it's about you, that could easily blow up. But it's a hypothetical, but she not wrong. They wouldn't know it's about me. Well, they could if they said your name. Basically, to answer this question, you have no shame. Why do you keep saying that? I'm asking you a question. It's like you're trying to get a rise out of me. What do you mean? It's like you're trying to provoke. I'm not trying to provoke. EPL stretch, appreciate the sub. Okay, I'm just trying to ask and articulate Are the fact like that you ain't got shame. Are you me because you're old? 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 Like you your mean? generation wouldn't really understand my generation. We're very far apart. <laughs> How old? <laughs> Wait a minute now. How old is she? Okay. I read somewhere you're like 48. Oh, she got her neck at a vid. Oh my God. But she's so calm about it. She's so calm. Like the, the girl, what's her name? Oh, who is, oh, Malachi is the dude she, okay. All right. It just hit me. 20 minutes in. Malachi is what they say. All right. 48. While I she ain't 48. 48 you do. Case. I'll give you that. You do. Yeah. She but like late 20s, early 30s. Change the fact that after rave, when you was 18, you was probably getting fuck out behind them. Oh my God. What's your response before I... You don't know me. So I'm going to excuse myself. I'm going to excuse myself for a sec. Remember, you need me here. Okay. Why are you walking away though? Walking away like almost justifies what she's saying. She could be right. Or are you just trying to excuse yourself because you don't want to turn up? Slay good does. Give it to them. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, stop. See, she's walked out her own interview. This is the Camelo show now. Daniels of the UK ran the host off her own platform. Babe, fuck with me if you want. Does someone want to go get her? That's tough. She need a talk show. She needs one. She need it. She need an interview. Play, play. She needs a place, a podcast or something. Nah, we're not going to do a podcast. Podcast is not it. Uh, not for this situation. She needs this kind of platform. Somebody, please. But let her speak freely on what she's speaking about. With her friends from South London. This is great. Honestly. But anyways. I love your dress. I love it. And your hair's nice. Thank you so much. It's probably for the older generation. Definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Don't We're gonna keep have to your keep composure. Because I don't want to come out of character. I'm being professional. I don't want to get ignorant. I don't want to come to your level. Okay. So let's let's be, you know, like, let's act and like we have. The craziest part is she's talking crazy. She's she's going in low key, but her attitude it doesn't even seem like like. This would irritate me too, cause she's not even yelling. She ain't getting out of body. She's too comfortable. She does this. She does this on a daily basis. That she is this good. I am impressed. I I am impressed. But I don't, as you just said. That's why I said let's act. I don't act. We'll try. But I will actually, cause it's your show. Okay, darling. Kaisena, let's talk about it. Let's talk about. How it. did you feel when he reached out to you? He didn't. What do you mean he didn't? There's a clip online of you shouting. 
like in many of your videos, and you're saying that Kai Sanat reached out, you're, you've made it, you're, you've gone clear. Okay. Did you see the response from Kai Sanat? Yeah. Okay. So I just want to take this moment to truly thank all the pawns in my game, that being the UK public, all the pawns in my game who believed me so, so freely, believed me. I sat there and I thought, how can I take this to a different level? Because eventually the UK public is going to be sick of me. Oh my gosh, she played y'all. This girl is eons above us. She is eons above what everybody else is thinking. I know she ain't just do that like that. A chess move? When we all thought she was out here playing checkers? Kai Senna, biggest streamer in the world. These fools actually managed to get Kai Senna to address me publicly, whether it's negatively or not, whether you're saying I don't know her or not. Now people from his stream, there were probably 10 million people on that stream. Now people from his stream have came to find me and find me they did because my views on my account, my profile views went from 4 million to 8. Mm -hmm. So it boosted 4 million in 12 hours. It was all a game and they fell. This girl is really, she's actually smart. Where'd she go? Cambridge University? What's going on? For it. So I just want to thank all the pawns in this game. So you're a liar? Um, to an extent. No, just yes or no, you're a liar? Yes. So then is it fair to say that this whole story is fake? No. This was just a way to boost my platform even further. Okay. So you mentioned earlier that you are a... Um, what's the word you used? You are a avid chat shitter. So is all of your story like very professional at this. She's good at what she does. She made you walk off your own platform, which she did do indeed. Like lies, is all your story times just you coming up with things to be popular online? No, because I'm not popular online. Okay. I'm, well, at I'm, the moment you are because you No, you but it's not popularity. It's more interest. I wouldn't okay. say I'm popular because popular is a word to be liked. Mm -hmm. I'm not liked. Okay. So I don't make stuff up just to be hated on. Everyone, everyone does not like me, mm -hmm. and that's fine. I've accepted that. Yeah. But, you know. So then if you're coming up with more stories and things like that, would it be fair for us to say that all of the things that you're saying aren't factual? If you passed all other exams but fell one, is it fair to say you're a dumb bitch? Dang! Oh, my God. Yeah, talk to her. It's good. I know it's good. It's so shocking the way she just painted that picture for you. you it's undeniable what you have to say. I don't know how to answer that question. No, you knew how to answer it. You just chose, you choose it not to because she is looking like, I, she's looking like Albert Einstein on here. This is crazy. But smart though, but you failed one exam. Are you now dumb? Does so that you're discredit basically saying else? One, one fake story doesn't discredit the rest of your stories. Exactly. So the rest of your stories are in fact true. Yes. I don't even think they're stories. Like, I don't think I've done like story times. I think it's more me calling people out. Okay. There was a clip that you made on your TikTok where you oh God, made a video and then you stitched your own video and said that you made things up. Is that another test that you failed? No, um, the Kai Senate one, that one is not true. The, in that video, I was more quoting the public. Like, I was quoting what's going out on TikTok about me. Oh, okay. So it wasn't you saying that. No, or I wasn't saying, saying that lie. about myself. Okay. I was quoting the public. There have been a few Malachi's that have come out claiming to be the guys that performed Analingus on you. Have you got anything Analingus. to say about that? I find it funny how people call me. Oh, my God. I need to. That's going to be the thumbnail. I'm going to find something on here where I was laughing or something, and I'm going to put analingus at the top. This is peak. You're a clout chaser. Mm. Would we not Say it again. Say it again. Come back. I find it funny how people call me a clout chaser. Mm. Would we not consider them a clout chaser? 100%. 100%. It's just that the word clout has negative implications. Mm. Would we not consider anyone who posts on TikTok a clout chaser? Because they are posting, hoping to get likes, views, mm -hmm. comments. I think the public is just angry that I got the clout. Because there's a difference between chasing clout and having clout. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think I'm chasing clout anymore. I think the clout has been caught. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you have to say in regards to these Malachi's that are coming? Listen, she's single-handedly maneuvered my mindset about her. That is tough. That is tough. And I, I salute this girl. Now, she's making some crazy life decisions, but she's in control of it, though. She's in control of it. She's aware. Like, a lot of people make decisions and don't even be aware what they're doing. Like, well, she's fully aware. Coming forward claiming that it's them. I would say, I'm not going to hate on your grind. Do what you got to do. But it just goes to show, people can call me shameless, but people will happily come out and be known as a guy who ate ass for 400 pounds and got sent home just for a few likes. And just to confirm, none of them are the real Malachi. Of course not. So has the real Malachi reached out to you? Has he of said course. anything? What was that conversation like? He was like, I beg you, please don't do this. Like, <laughs> don't play me. And I didn't. <laughs> I'm not that, I'm not. Yeah, the that. real Malachi don't want to be out here like this. Uh, and so that's why you haven't revealed who he actually is. Yes, even if he didn't say that, as soon as I, it hit a certain amount of views, you now know that this is now public information. Me revealing who Malachi is, is me essentially ruining his life. The British public are literally just waiting. Everyone who's saying, oh, she's not saying who Malachi is, like, they just want to know who Malachi is exactly, so they can harass him. Mm -hmm. I may have tough skin. Hey, if I was Malachi, if I, I would have told her, listen, if the right bag come around for you to reveal it, just clue me in and give me a cut. Because at the end of the day, Malachi must be young too. He don't know that that, first and foremost, he can, it'll boost him somewhat too. And when I say boost him, I mean social media presence. And I also mean it'll boost him with the females. At the end of the day, this is how the world works. The females will be in his inbox like, hey, you could do, 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 you know what I'm saying? You got to keep it pee. <laughs> if somebody offers you $30,000 to reveal it, give me 10. If somebody offer you a million, <laughs> if some, whatever amount, give me a good amount. Give me a good cut. And I'm down. <laughs> That's tough, man. Again, he may not. There's a clip online um, of a young lady graphically having Analingus performed on her. Is this person you? No. No, okay, fair enough. You've been posting a lot of content. I think that you were posting every five seconds at one point. What do you plan on doing with this content? Like, how do you, how do you want to use this to benefit yourself? I think I'm just seeing where it goes at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm taking all the opportunities which come to me. Mm -hmm. Obviously, thankful to be here, even though you're a bit bright, but... <laughs> You're beautiful. So why she spin the block like that? Oh man, she's doubled back and stepped on something twice. That's tough. Cool. But like I can tell you was like a bitch in school. Like you I would have probably had a couple fights with you. But... I'm I'm gonna just yeah, just just move on. Cause I don't wanna say anything that I don't wanna say. Let's be guided. You even quoted me. Like I said, what are you do? Oh gosh, she did quote her. She quoted her plan on doing with this new fact as an interviewer though she is doing a really good job at staying professional the only thing that that i wouldn't have did was walk off but she came back she came back poised she ain't doing it twice and the, and what leads me she walked off because she was going to snatch her wig off her head i know it it's all right Found fame that you've discovered that you've gained tiktok fame is one thing mm -hmm. TikTok fame, it's not real fame. Mm -hmm. I plan to turn it into real fame. And what would that fame look? Yeah, I always say that, man. TikTok is, TikTok is not, TikTok is not longevity. It's cool, but it ain't longevity. If you, YouTube got some longevity to it. TikTok is momentarily, you could be lit and then it'll be gone. Look like to you. Notoriety. There's a difference between like having a bit of clout and having actual notoriety, like actually being, I don't know if I'll ever be a respected member of society, but I want to be known. When I walk into rooms, I want to be known. As what? That is a really good question. I wasn't even prepared for that. Mm. As what? 
Cause not- she prepared for this interview, and I like like don't let this go between the lines. She said I wasn't even prepared for that, but she was. She prepared for this interview. You gotta let her. That lets you know where her frame of mind is to prepare for this. She's not playing. She's really out. Like this is wild. It's wild in so many. Right. It's the, the face value of the interview is wild. But if you read between the lines and actually seeing what the girl got going on and her plan, like that, she really playing chess out here. It's crazy. Ow. And not to be disrespectful. She might be the goat of this. Like she, she, she could be goaded. She, this is goat. This is goat talk. <laughs> but a lot of people would notice you as a part-time prostitute. Okay. Is that a narrative that you want to change, or are you happy for that to continuously be your story? Even if I wanted to change it, mm. if the public decide that you are a part-time prostitute, even if I didn't come on here and say this mm-hmm. myself. That's what they think. They're not going to change their mind. Mm-hmm. So whether they choose to see me as that or not, I just want to be known. Whatever they choose to know me as, as long as they know me, it's fine. So are you going to continuously keep telling us about your sexual escapades or is this going to be the last time? Are we gonna- she don't even got to do that no more. She got so much. There's so much else going on. But like, that's a part of it. She can ride that motion for a little bit, but like she can branch off from it whenever she feel like it to hear more from you about your bedroom antics just depends who decides to be cheeky you said you're a rapper Mm -hmm. tell us more about your rap career what is that looking like are you in the studio are you creating music last year is when i was really doing rap like seriously Mm -hmm. i kind of lost the passion for it like a lot of people managed to take that away from me (laughs) take the passion of music away from me so i feel like now that I have this platform, it would be kind of stupid not to at least try and pursue that again. Mm-hmm. Nah, no, no. It was taken from you for a reason and you opened another door, another door opened. Even though it was a crazy door to open, just do that. Do the other door, do the other door, and then put out some rap occasionally. So I think that's what, that's all I have to say about that at the moment, because there's not much to say. I haven't done much, I haven't released anything fair enough so you're, you're a nice person i am a nice i actually am a nice person oh i'm just i mean this conversation would beg to differ but but it's because you're not a nice person i'm an amazing person not to me what did i say to you that wasn't nice you're just quite judgmental i didn't say anything judgmental i you asked have you a underlying question. hatred i did kind of feel it like i felt it but but at the same time i ain't expect her to pull a card like that like that what am i hating on the fact that i still have you oh my god jesus and oh man tamela it was lovely you're wearing clark's <laughs> Tamela, G, slow down. <laughs> Tamela is wild to go back. No, nah, because I got to see it from the top. Hold on. What did I say to you that wasn't nice? You're just quite judgmental. I didn't say anything judgmental. I yeah, asked you. Look how calm she is and poised. This is crazy to me. If you getting, if you getting ate up by somebody this calm and poised is crazy because you what, you, what can you do at this point? Like every anything you do or say back is gonna sound like it's gonna be like, yo man, you overreact. She wasn't even jumping out her body. She was just talking to you. But look how she's talking to her in the most calmly mild mannered way. Underlying <laughs> hatred. What am I hating on? The fact that I still have youth. That is the toughest pill to swallow right there. That is that is insane. And she said it with so much calm. And she's 18. She's right. You could be 26 and she could still be right. Like, she's 18. Tamela, it was lovely. With a straight face. Go back. With a straight face is wild. Tamela, it was lovely. You're wearing Clark's. Oh, my God. Then she tried to end it with, Camilla, this is lovely. And you say you're wearing Clark's. These are not Clarks, darling. Check what your back. What are they? What are they? What are you wearing? Can we go through? Let's do a fit check with you. Okay. Pretty little thing. Mm-hmm. Pretty little thing. Mm-hmm. I think it's a sheen. Mm. 
That says it all. Um, that says it all what? Do you want to buy me a new outfit? No, I don't, darling. What are 18 year olds supposed to wear? You don't know about Sheen. And your, your buckle's undone on your shoes. Tamela, it was lovely. You know why her buckle was undone? She was going to take the heels off and get busy. Well, it was interesting having you here on Off The Record. I wish you all the best in your career. Hopefully it works out the same way it did for Cardi B. If not, take care. Guys, it... Oh, man. I feel like... It has been me, Mide Oni, the one and only. Mide Oni, I, I appreciate you for giving us this. This is golden. Way to keep your composure. Way to stay, remain ladylike. Um... You really handled that as well as you possibly could because no matter who was up here interviewing her, if it would have went the exact same way, frustration would have been had because like I feel it. Like she's too calm and she's eating. She's eating. Oh, you thought you ate? No, she's eating. Like and she's calm about it. The and I keep repeating she's calm about it because it's the calmness of it that would really bother me. Like, if you get into a one-on-one -on -one fight and somebody's, like, getting the best out of you, but they're not even really aggressive about it, they calmly just doing this to you, and you and you got your hardest, you really out here in a stance, you trying to body slant, like, he, and he just, mm, like, that's the vibe. And this has been off Don't the record. Don't sign off as if it's your show, because you needed me here. It's been Tamelo from Bristol. <laughs> Tamele from Bristol, let me look at all cameras. Thank you. Off the record. You can cut, by the way. She has nothing further to say. Oh, my God. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for on joining off us. The... You're not about to edit this out. It's been the Tamelo show. Had I not been here, you would have had fuck all to speak about. So, thank you. You can cut here because I'm just going to keep interrupting you. You might as well do this in your own time. Oh, Jesus is good. He is. I thank God for growth. I don't know what to say here because do I give it back? I don't know what's going on here, guys. You can't. You yeah. At least you have one. Yeah. Oh, wait, stop. What happened? Go back. Go back. Back. I don't know what's going on here, guys. Keep your career, sis. You, yeah. you, at least you have one. Yeah. At least I have one. Thank you. That is very At 31, I'd expect that. Yeah. Hopefully, and by the time you're 31, you would have grown out of part-time prostitution as well no your no. mom's still one she's definitely not she's definitely not let's not do that darling okay um guys now that your mom joke that was the corniest thing she said she could have let that one go but, that, but before that oh man it was ruthless did she interrupt her one more time Hold on. thank you for watching off the record it's been midday oni the one and only your host and i shall see you on the next episode. See you on the next episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs> ah, swing it to the end. That is funny. This is the best interview I've ever seen. Tell her, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn around. I mean, I don't see. Mess me up. Tell her, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and go.